Good morning, Jim here, AG6IF. I run in broadband hamnet mesh node network here and uh, the Arden Amateur Radio Emergency Data Network currently. And I've got uh, Nano Station M2s. I've got quite a few of those. Uh, That's what they look like. This one's taken apart. Um, had a problem when I flashed this uh, latest software and I logged in, I telneted into this unit and there was a bunch of file system errors. There's a memory card on here somewhere, uh, I'm not too sure. This is the inside of a, an M2 once you take it apart. Uh, I didn't see a flash card on here that I could uh, easily change. So uh, after researching some, uh, some different uh, possible outcomes, I decided to reset the unit and reflash it back to factory and then back to uh, the uh, AREDN software. The problem with my reset button uh, I bought this use my reset button, which is normally here, was was uh, crushed. It was totally missing. So first thing I had to do was take this thing apart, and I put a little uh, button. Uh, I'll show you here. There you go. I extended the reset button off the circuit board, off of a little piece of jumper, onto a push button, and just uh, hot glued it right on there. It's a little bit ghetto, but yeah, it was either that or chuck this thing in the trash can so uh, I wanted to fix it but I couldn't put flash the uh, firmware back to original because I couldn't reset the unit and you hold the button down for 10 to 10 plus seconds and then it goes into TFTP mode trivial file transfer protocol and from there uh, you can plug your PC into it and uh, you can force it to uh, to consume a new flash uh, f firmware basically so I did, thought well there's there's probably memory errors but um, they might be temporary I don't know so I wanted to do that so anyway I had to fix the reset button uh, first which yeah you can see what I did there uh, it just I just put some jumpers on here the switch was completely uh, trashed someone had pushed on it with a sledgehammer I think and uh, so I just uh, moved most of the parts out of the way, soldered my little jumpers on there, and enlarged the hole, uh, as you can see there. So when I reset the unit, came up in listening mode for TFTP. I stuck the, uh, I actually put the Arden factory version right back on first. I didn't even go to AROS, AROS. Uh, and uh, first I tried the sys upgrade. It didn't work. It told me the flash was, uh, the flash, uh, was uh, not the proper one. So then I went, just tried the, the factory one, uh, the one you first use on one of these units when you first uh, take them and try to switch them over to, to, to mesh networking, amateur radio mesh networking. And that worked fine. It came up in the normal way. It said uh, no call. I was able to log into it and all is well. So before I put this thing back together, I thought I figured I might as well show you what they look like. There's one screw there's one screw that holds it together. So uh, what you do is you uh, uh, you go to the, the case here, and you see this one's been outside. I've had it mounted on a on a mast uh, under the sticker here, right here. You peel that back. There's a screw hole right there. You remove that. Let me see if this camera will focus. Sorry. Uh, you remove the screw, and the whole uh, the whole assembly slides out of there. Um, basically just like you see here and it goes back the same way you slip it in there so this is the back side of the board it's running and I don't want to look at this uh, but here's I'll give me a look at the uh, front side of the antennas I don't want this in my face though that's for sure not good for your retinas and coronas there we go So this came up, joined my network just fine, and it'll go back out on the pole. Uh, I just brought a uh, 5 gigahertz nano bridge on, on and uh, converted it. Oh, nice little unit. 22 dBi. This one's 11 dBi, so uh, basically. So I had to, again, I had to fix it. And uh, if you're interested in mesh networking for amateur radio, check out the Arden Project, A-R-E-D-N. Uh, it's a group of fine fellows, and they're um, they're really putting a nice uh, nice touch on the broadband hamnet for sure. And um, uh, 
moving that uh, moving that whole process forward. So, uh, thanks to Andre and the group for that. Uh, met with them recently at the uh, the summit, and uh, by golly, uh, very impressed with that team. So, I uh, just want to throw that out there. This is Jim, AG6IF Southern California, Sunday morning, fixing my M2 Ubiquity Nano Station M2. Better than throwing it in the landfill, right? Nah, there's plenty of spare parts on there, but still, now I've got a working unit. Thanks for watching. Appreciate every one of you, and uh, enjoy ham radio. This is uh, Jim, AG6IF73. Have a nice day.